Hello everyone to my channel. Today we're doing a reading for Sign of Sagittarius. And keep in mind that this will not resonate for every Sagittarius. So let's see what we have for your sign. What's happening for you? What are the messages? We have number 32 with steadfastness. Okay, Sagittarius is your first card. Number 12 with childlike expression. So the numbers 2 must be important to you for it to be popping up twice. 32 and 12. All right. Number 46 with splendor. Ooh. Number 16, the clear energy. So 2s and 6s are very important for you, Sagittarius. You can be appearing here. So it's only to clear your energy, Sagittarius. Get back in this childlike state here. Getting back to your child, your inner child, Sagittarius. We have number 21 with determination, and we have the root chakra here, all right? So you need to connect and align your root chakra. There's meditation frequencies you can find here on YouTube for that, but the root chakra. So when your root chakra is stable, it's balanced, you don't feel any anxiety, you feel very calm, you feel very stable. When the root chakra is out of balance, you feel that anxiety, you feel like kind of like this uneasiness, Sagittarius, so you need to... Work on your root chakra here. Clear your energy, all right? Really do some cleansing and getting back to um, a childlike state, all right, where you have no worries. Number 17 with inner knowing and following your inner knowing, which is your intuition, Sagittarius, all right? So I want to have a look here at your splendor card and then your steadfastness, okay? So number 32 and 46. All right. Do not waver back and forth or be moved by the circumstances that are surrounding you at this time. Be focused on your purpose and unwilling to be swayed by what other people think or by what you perceive. All right, Sagittarius. So do not be swayed here. It's like getting into a state of balance. Sagittarius. All right. Don't let other people sway you on your path. Kanasha heartens you by revealing that when you know that your effort is not futile, you will be steadfast and immovable. This seems to be a major stumbling block in your life at this time. Perhaps your current job gives you little recognition with no real sense of accomplishment or success. You may feel unheard in your relationships. Possibly the error lies in the fact that in your heart, you really feel your struggle is hopeless. You may recognize it on an intellectual level. But you are easily shaken when you do not see the fruit of your exertion. Ganesha is pictured here riding on the elephant to engage you in the energy of the elephant spirit. Elephants can teach you that kindness, dedication, communication in relationships is very powerful. They remind you that it is necessary to keep relationships alive, trusting and loving, whether the relationship is with friends, family, or partner, deeply faithful to all creatures with which they have relationships. Elephants are tough when protecting others and gentle when nurturing them. The matriarch leads in a way that is both gentle and inclusive. Elephants are able to communicate telepathically. When you draw this card, your ability to truly listen to others is enhanced. Do whatever is necessary to safeguard your resolve. You are receiving guidance that this is the time to dig in. Remain focused and don't get caught up in trying to create change. The energy in your job relationship is ever-changing. Ask Ganesha to bring you the strength to work with what is happening. Stay committed and on track. Do not give up as change will show up soon. The situation will be transformed. All right, Sagittarius like this. So don't give up. Don't let people sway you or your situation sway you here. Don't give up. Keep going. Keep moving forward. Work with Ganesha here. All right? And things will change. Really balance yourself. Really clear your energy like I've been saying. Get your root chakra stable. Listening to your intuition. And getting back into that inner child. Express yourself like a child. Alright, Sagittarius. Then we have Splendor. Number 46. Seek and honor the beauty and splendor that is within and around you. Ganesha is surrounded by beauty in this car. And is calling to your attention. 
Awaken to what you are surrounding yourself with at this moment. See more deeply and be aware of the impact of your surroundings on what you create in your life. Ganesha urges you to let beauty penetrate your into your heart. You will naturally respond to this beauty by fostering more care and love, not only in your life, but also in the lives of others around you. If your critical voice has been overactive lately, or you find that you have been dwelling on negative behaviors, take a moment to realign yourself. See, such days, I feel like this is all this about realigning yourself. Working with Ganesha here to realign yourself. All right, and there's mantras you can find of him on YouTube. There's meditations. Well, this goes on. You arrived in this world as a unique and magnificent individual. The core of your being is whole, beautiful, and filled with love. The essence of the higher self wants nothing more or less than for you to be who you were created to be. Ganesha is standing in a meadow surrounded by flowers. The flowers symbolize perfection and beauty. A variety of colors streams healing, loving energy in your direction. A butterfly symbolizes the change and evolution that your soul is undertaking. Remember to have an awareness of your surroundings. See the splendor that is being shown to you and utilize this energy to support your own transformations. All right, Sagittarius, so there's messages here from Ganesha. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we got a pendulum. Pendulum board, Sagittarius. I want you to think of a question that you have, and we'll answer that. So think for a minute on what your question is, and then we'll get to it. All right? All right, so I have the crystal here. I'm going to hover over the board, I'm going to close my eyes, and we'll answer your question. All right, Sagittarius. So. It keeps going over yes. You see that? Yes and Monday. So maybe yes on your question and something with Monday, Sagittarius. Whatever your question was, it's going back and forth between yes, Monday, and then Capricorn. So I don't know if you have Capricorn placements in your chart. Maybe one coming into contact with you on Monday. All right. That's vibrating over Capricorn. So I feel like I'm right on that. All right, Sagittarius. So that is all I have for you. If you want to see more content for your sign, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye, guys.